In this problem, we have a sequence, and we have to determine if it converges or diverges. And if it converges, we have to find the limit. So there's a couple ways to do this problem. Uh, perhaps the easiest way is to look at it and realize that the numerator, cosine of 4n, is always going to be a number between 1 and negative 1, no matter what. So it doesn't matter how big n gets, the top piece is always between negative 1 and 1. And when n gets big, the bottom piece gets bigger and bigger and bigger because it's an exponential function. So what happens is your fraction gets smaller because the bottom is getting big. And so when you take the limit, as n goes to infinity of a sub n, you simply get 0 because the top is trapped between these numbers and the bottom is getting bigger. And that would be the limit, and the answer would be converges. Now, if you wanted to show the work, um, you could you could show the work using something called the squeeze theorem. Let me go ahead and briefly show you how to do that. So to use the squeeze theorem, so let's call this solution two, the solution where we actually uh, show work. You can start by writing down the inequality, which I wrote above. The cosine of 4n is less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to negative 1. And then you can divide each piece of this inequality by 5 to the n. So 5 to the n, 5 to the n, and then 5 to the n. Then you can notice that this piece here goes to 0 as n goes to infinity. Likewise, this piece here goes to 0 as n goes to infinity. So therefore, the piece in the middle will also go to 0 as n goes to infinity by something called the squeeze theorem. Let's go ahead and write all that down. So the limit as n goes to infinity of negative 1 over 5 to the n, that's going to be 0 because, again, the bottom is getting bigger and bigger, so it makes the fraction smaller. And the limit as n goes to infinity of the right-hand side of our inequality, 1 over 5 to the n, is also 0. So this goes to 0, this goes to 0, this one is trapped in the middle, this middle piece, and so thus, the middle piece, so the limit as n goes to infinity of the middle piece, so cosine of 4n over 5 to the n, is going to be 0, and this is by the squeeze theorem. So by the squeeze theorem. And so if you've never seen the squeeze theorem, um, basically it says that whenever you have an inequality like this, if you get a limit here on the right, and you get the same limit here on the left, whatever's trapped in the middle also has to approach the same limit. So hence, it's squeezed in the middle, hence the name squeeze theorem. It's also called the pinching theorem or the sandwich theorem. In any case, if you don't have to show work in a problem like this, um, ideally you can just look at it and write the answer down because you know that this piece here is trapped between negative 1 and 1. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.